Brian Finch again, the guy who can't stay away from the camera. Uh, and Ed, we're here at the lovely Casa Loma for the Inspired Awards event. It's the actual gala, the first ever, to celebrate uh, achievement and excellence in the LGBT community in the Toronto GTA area. I'm also here with Glenn Brown, who's inter interim director, if I can put that up, of Pride, and we're both partners, founding partners in this event. So, what, what attracted you and Pride Toronto to this? Uh, we thought it was really an interesting idea to partner with a bunch of organizations. In, in previous years, Pride Toronto has kind of made some of its own selections around things like Grand Marshals and other group. And we thought, wouldn't it be cool this year to partner with a whole bunch of other groups that we really respect and to have a much more kind of open process. So uh, this year, the people inside there that you're going to help select for yeah. honored youth and honored person and honored business and honored group, well, they're going to become our Grand Marshals and honored groups. I know, that's amazing in development. So when we first started, Started this, we hadn't worked all this out yet. So within the matter of four months, it's grown from an idea to selecting marshals for the Pride Parade. So that's very exciting. It is very exciting, and they're going to be at the very front of our parade. And yeah. uh, people will be able to see them, and then they'll be able to, when the, when the Grand Marshals get to the end, they'll be able to hop off the little car and go back and watch the rest of the parade come too. Well, I'm excited to see who's going to be the winner. We have no idea. It's the first time I've ever been a judge, so I'm going to play a little reality TV. And uh, maybe I'll be Paula. <laughs> uh, so anyway, thanks for talking, and uh, we'll look up for you at Pride. And thanks for being part of Inspire Awards. <laughs>